Hi you guys, it's Sina and I'm Zila Nanchang and today I will show you how to uh, get on the train in China, how to buy tickets and how to travel to other cities. Let's watch! Go into our Google Chrome and we're going to enter the official website of Chinese Railroad 12306.cn if you would like, you can translate the page, or if you just know where to click, just continue. And we go to tickets here. So to be able to look at the schedule and to buy tickets, you need to log in. And here we need to type our login. password of course so now is the tricky part there is a capture and if you will translate the page unfortunately you'll see that you could not translate the capture so you need to use your phone or dictionary to translate it somehow so we'll just zoom it in and we'll see so the first message is the same like Please click or choose the objects, pictures, which contain, blah, blah, blah. And here is the word. What should we click on? And unfortunately, there is no way to escape this process. But you can just open your dictionary. As I told you before, use Pleco. And you can just draw this character. That's what I'm going to do right now. And don't worry if you couldn't draw it from the very beginning easily. Okay. Let's see, I can I cannot honestly type the first character. So I will just click the button update. Okay, it's much easier. So I know the first character means Dian, something with related with electricity. Uh, but the second one I don't know, so I'd better translate both of them. Maybe together they have a special meaning. Okay, and it's written Dianxian, electric wire. So let's try to see what is electric wire. So far I see only one, so we'll click here. Let's see. And yes. So finally we are in the system and we can see the greeting message and it tells us if you'd like you can link your phone number to this account for extra security reasons. Honestly I'm not going to do this because I change my phone numbers quite frequently so this option is not really good for me. Uh, before we're going to buy tickets we need to create passengers accounts, information about passengers who's going to, who are going to travel and it's really great because you create this, them once and they will stay in the system forever. For that reason we need to look at the left menu and we need to choose contact information, frequent contacts. So let's click there. And here as you can see I already have two passengers, it's me and my husband. But let's pretend and create a new one. So we need to click on this green cross. So here's typical information, so name, as it should be in the passport. Next one is uh, sex, male or female, and uh, after we choose a country. So next one is type of the document, Chinese, Hong Kong, Macau, and passport. The last one, passport. We choose it, and we type the number of the passport. Okay, great. All other fields, they are optional, they are not necessary. If you'd like, you can fill them in. You don't, it's okay. And the last one is type of the passenger, adult, child, student, or person with uh, special needs. Continue. Oops, kind of a mistake. But here we go. Here is an extra person. So now we have three passengers and I will delete this one because honestly I don't need him. Oh yes. 
finally. Okay, only me and my husband. So now let's go buy some tickets and click on this button, tickets. So here how it looks like. Uh, you type your city where you're from. And right now I'm in Shangrao. And as you can see, I just use English keyboard, no Chinese, no pinging. And it shows the city and the character on the left. Sometimes some cities, they sound the same, but different tones, so it could be different characters. Watch out. And destination. Here is already my city, but still I want to type, let's say Nanchang. I go back to Nanchang. So there are two different stations, Nanchang and Nanchang West. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one would you choose, because if there is no train for this station, they would show for this. So you just choose any. And we pick a date. For my date, it should be 25th. 25th, 2017 and August, 8th month. Okay, so it's done. Uh, by the way, you cannot buy tickets in advance more than, I think, 30 or 60 days. So you cannot really buy a train ticket if you're going to travel only in a year or half a year. And we can choose regular per passenger or maybe you're a student. So students usually have some discounts. If you'd like, you can also change the date here or you can choose the type of a train. G is the fastest speed trains and usually T and K are the slowest. Okay, so here we go, so many trains. And each train has a letter at the beginning of the number. So K means slow and here is the time. It would take 2 hours 52 minutes. And if you look at G, it would take only 1 hour and 24 minutes. So you basically, first of all, choose the time. It's departure and the second one is arrival. The time that you prefer. And later you can check the class of the train. So usually if it's a slow train like K, uh, there are some sleepers. So it would be maybe uh, this one, I think it's a seat, a ticket without a seat. This is hard sleeper, uh, sitting, this is hard sleeper, soft sleeper, and this is deluxe uh, sleeper. And this character means we don't have tickets, don't have tickets means sold out. And these means don't exist. Okay, so we go to and pick up the train and time. I need to be in Nanchang, let's say at half past one or maybe a little bit before. So probably I would choose this train. I think it's really good, but there are no seats, unfortunately. So here's the other one, almost the same time for me. And let's have a look at the prices. So they don't have for business class and first class, but they have second class seats. So click on this button and we see the price. So second class is 110.5 yuan. Honestly, second class is awesome and great. There is no big difference. Just so uh, it has five seats in a row, three on one side, two on other side. So in first class, you have four seats in a row. And business class, it's also four seats in a row, but more comfortable, more conditions. So if we want to buy a ticket, we just click on this blue button on the right in front of the train. Okay, so here we go and we need to choose a passenger. So I pick myself and it shows, okay, second class, the price. If you don't want second class, you can just click here and have other options, but for this time there are no other options. You choose the type of passenger, regular child or student, regular, and here's a passport number, it shows automatically, and your phone number too. Okay, and you can to press the button continue. So here they show you again, uh, just to confirm that this is the time, you'll arrive at this time, this is your train, and it shows that there are 20 more tickets for this train for this time. Continue. Okay, 
So now it's just they confirm the details again and if you want you can click here to buy insurance and as you can see insurance here it costs 3 yuan for adults elder than 18 years old if uh, you travel with children so it would be only 1 yuan. If you want you can buy insurance, you don't want to don't buy it as you like and continue. Here you can choose the way of payment, you can choose any Chinese bank or you can choose Alipay, which I prefer. Over here we can see the final price 113 yuan with a half. We can log in with our login password or we can scan QR code with a I'm actually going to do. So we need to take your your phone and you need to open application Alipay or Jufabao and in the top left corner you will see the button scan. We press on it and we bring it close to the screen that we can scan it and automatically on our phone we will see we need to type the password we do it and voila it's been paid and here is my email address in which I just typed it and automatically confirmation has been sent. Whew. So here we go, we bought a ticket and right now you're going to receive few messages on your cell phone uh, with information. So here we can see that please don't close this window until you will get all payment done and all confirmations. And as I already got my messages, I can easily close it. I've been transferred to my personal cabinet and oh, where is the ticket? So you don't see it right now, but on Twari you just go to the menu and it would be right over there. So you can just translate the page to see where to click and it's fine. So my purchases, incomplete and complete orders. Okay, so incomplete and as you see there is nothing but don't worry, we just need to choose the correct date because as we can see it's 24th and 24th and my train is supposed to be tomorrow on the 25th. And here we go, here is our ticket and here is the number of the ticket and information, the name, the class, uh, and here is uh, all other stuff. So it's pretty good. If, uh, let's say, I don't want to have a ticket, I bought it by mistake, or I change my plans, I can easily refund it, I can return it, and for that reason I just need to press this little orange button, refund. You click on it, and You'll get a message like, are you sure that you want to uh, return the ticket? And they say that um, I will get only 103.2.5 yuan, but the ticket was 113, blah, blah, blah. I will get 90 something for a ticket and 3 for insurance. Do you agree or disagree? Blah, blah, blah. Honestly, I'm not going to return this ticket because I bought it for a special occasion because I really want to go home. So I just click cancel. So that's it. The next step, you need to go to the train station and pick it up. I really hope that this video was useful for you. Uh, let's be connected. Watch more of my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.